let's go to the next question. The next question um, that we have is from Lorinda. Okay, Laura. Laura, thank you so much um, for this question that you have given us. The question is a tank. It's on volume. Measurement. <laughs> thank you for this question because measurement is that scary thing that no one really wants to do. Um, but as soon as you start grasping it, because you are always given formulas, um, so you don't really want to run away from it. Catch your marks and run with them. So it says here, um, if the volume of the tank is a thousand liters. So we've already been given the volume, which is that thousand liters over there. And the height is um, 130 centimeters. What is the diameter of the tank? So we've got over here, we've been given that 13 centimeters, which is the height, okay? 13 centimeters. That's the height that we have been given. So we want to know what the diameter is going to be. That is very, very important for us to know um, how to use it. And it says to us, Round your answer to two decimal places. Use the following formula that has been given to you. So now in order for us to do a question like this, it's important um, for there to also be some sort of scale that says to us that 13 centimeters um, needs to be in meters or whatever the case is. But we're going to use that 130 as it is in those centimeters, okay? So let's see, if we were given anything else, we would use it the way that we are given. Be, please be careful in terms of that. So we've been given a nice formula over there, which is why I'm saying, guys, use this, okay? And then we have also been given our pi. If you've been given a pi, guys, it's important for you to use the pi that you have been given. Don't go and use your own pi because pi can come in different numbers. Pi can be 3,14, pi can be 3, whatever the case is. So be careful in terms of that. And if pi is not being given, use the one on your calculator. But in most cases, pi will be given to you. So thank you for that question, Laura. It's 2.6. I hope you are watching. Volume is equal to pi times r square times height. Okay, so we have to manipulate this formula, but in order for us to find the diameter, we need to know the relationship between diameter and radius. I'm just going to put a little note on the side there. If we have our circle over there, we know that from the center to the circumference, that is radius. But... What we need to know as well is the relationship between radius and diameter. And the relationship between radius and diameter is that the radius is half of the diameter. So from here to there is then going to be our diameter. So radius, so diameter is equals to radius times 2. So whatever radius we find, we're going to multiply by 2. We know our volume is a 1,000. We know that. We know that pi is 3,142. We don't have our radius. That's what we're trying to figure out. And we have our 130 centimeters. I'm not going to write the centimeter out over there. Perfect. Let's manipulate our formula. Not to not too much of a problem, I hope, for you guys. Because sometimes people get so scared when we need to manipulate. What are we going to do in order to eliminate these two numbers over here? Because we are working with multiplication, we are going to divide with those two numbers. So look at what I'm doing. Pay careful attention in terms of what I am doing. I'm going to divide both sides by those two numbers. So what am I dividing it by? I'm going to divide this side by... 3,142 times 130. And I'm going to divide this side by 3,142 times 130. 
What is it doing? It's automatically removing those two numbers over there. And it's leaving us with the radius that we are looking for. Okay? Let's go put that in our calculator. So that's a thousand. One, two, three. Divided. I'll put those in brackets. Three comma one. Delete. One, four, two times 130. That's our height. And the answer is going give to give us, I'm going to round that off to two decimal places because, wow, 2,45. 2,45. And then now I'm left with the radius square. Now I need to eliminate the square over here. And in order for me to eliminate that square, I need to put a square root on both sides. So I need to square root both sides sides okay and let me just remove that little thing over there nice one me me square rooting both sides then removes that square over there let's go put that in our calculator square root two comma four five so that then gives us 1,57, which is our radius. Now, remember what I said to you guys. What is the relationship between radius and diameter? We are not done. We are not done. We are looking for the diameter. The relationship between radius and diameter is over there. In order for us to find our diameter, we need to multiply the radius by 2. So, therefore, diameter is equal to 1, comma, let's just clear that mess, 1, comma, 5, 7 times 2. Careful, ne? So, 1, comma, 5, 7 times 2. 3,14, that's very interesting because it's like the pi, right? 3,14, okay? So now we've got that. That, guys, then becomes our diameter. We found what we were looking for. That is going to be our diameter. So our diameter is going to be 3,14. And that 3,14 has to be in whatever that they have given us over there, which is going to be in centimeters. So it's going to be double of that. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for that particular question. But it's not done. Let's go see what the second one says. It says, Ted keeps the tank at two-thirds of its capacity. So here it says that Ted keeps the tank at two-thirds of its capacity. How much water is in the tank? Round off to the nearest liter. Nice one. So now we know that Ted is keeping um, this tank at two-thirds of its capacity. Two-thirds looks like this. 2.7. Two-thirds is two over three. Okay? That's two-thirds of its capacity. But what is its capacity? Of represents multiplication of 1,000 liters. And before we carry on, I need to caution you guys in terms of this. And the caution in terms of that is that Laura's question didn't tell us the relationship between liters and centimeters in terms of that. So that's why our answer is looking a bit shady. So be careful in terms of that. There should be a little scale that we have been given um, that says to us, listen, this is the relationship between the two things. Okay? So be careful in terms of that um, when you come to that as well. Carrying on. We are looking for two-thirds of a thousand. Two-thirds of a thousand, we know that we're multiplying those two numbers. So it means that the tank is not full. Ne? It's not like full, full. Because if it was full, full, it would be three over three. So a thousand times 
a thousand times two over three. That's going to probably give us, there we go. I'm going to round that off to two decimal places. 666.67. Two over three times. I'm just going to make that a little formal um, for you guys. 666.67 liters. If you don't have that liter, guys, you will not get your mark. Thank you, Laura, for that question.